Greetings, Ascended Nation. So I'm coming to you with a gods and goddesses message. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I greatly and truly appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into the message. Remember to take what resonates, what does not resonate. Leave it right here. All right. So we have Poseidon. We have Hercules. And then we have Sita. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the messages that came through. Okay, I was picking up too during this message that the energy could relate somehow, some way to each god and or goddess. All right, so it can relate to like there could be some sort of similarities when it pertains to background or um like uh their type of rain ring or something like that okay maybe characteristics could be significant as well but we have poseidon in ancient greek religion god of the sea land of water generally okay uh earthing no earthquakes and horses all right he is distinguished from the Pontes, the personification of the sea and the oldest Greek divinity of the waters. The name Poseidon means either husband of the earth or lord of the earth, okay? So the messages that came through was the Knight of Swords. I was definitely getting Poseidon energy off of this, okay? So something rushing in, something fast moving could also be significant, okay? Um, brave as well all right uh air energy so something could be definitely significant significant about air okay it also mentioned husband um this is gemini energy so something about the lovers or partnership or something like that could be significant some sort of kin could also be significant i'm hearing kin all right k-i-n all right also, some sort of bloodline could also be significant, all right? Then we have the star, okay? So someone here could be a star seed or someone could also be held in some sort of high honor, all right? This is Aquarius energy, okay? So an Aquarius or Aquarius could be significant, all right? Um, this says hope, calm, healing, all right? We know water too with this Poseidon here. Something could be definitely significant about water and healing and the ability to heal through water. Spirituality could also be significant as well, okay? So to further clarify this energy, I feel like as well that there is some sort of huge change, some sort of huge transformation that is definitely going on in current energy, okay? I feel like this is something that cannot be tampered with okay um we have poverty all right so something could be significant here about something fast acting uh something about poverty okay or people going into poverty or some sort of loss could definitely be significant okay someone could have a black cat because the black cat on this uh kipper card the uh Poverty card is significant to me, okay? Um, also, the number 10, which talks about endings and new beginnings, okay? So I feel like, like I said, some sort of huge change like on a on a big scale is significant i'm picking up here okay so to further clarify this we have bitterness resentment anger hurtful words all right so there could be some something something could be significant here with that hurtful words something could be significant here about some sort of maybe word magic or some sort of manipulation is significant uh people can also be angry or resentful due to the fact that they are uh suffering Suffering or being uh, pushed into poverty, okay? Basically, I have to give the message, all right? And that's what I'm hearing, okay? I feel like something here is definitely divinely orchestrated, okay? And yeah. Um, so further clarify this energy, there could be a message that is coming in as well, okay? So uh, Poseidon is saying uh, something here about a me message. You could uh, be saying 717. 717 is heavily significant 
for me, it talks about, um, you know, transition energy. Okay. So, uh, something could definitely significant about your spirit guides. Okay. Um, you being protected, you could have been sent some sort of message. You could have seen something as well. Something could be significant here about, uh, prophecy. Also some sort of balance could also be significant. All right. There could be some sort of legal documentation as well that I'm getting. All right. So next we have also the number 24 could be significant, which is more of, like I said, with that six energy, okay, that Gemini energy is significant, okay? Um, something could be significant here too about a Virgo, all right? So we have chemistry, attraction, spark, passion, all right? So back to that lover's energy, um, some sort of... Um, Something could also uh, pertain to your work as well for some of you, okay? Love and work could be significant. Partnerships could be significant. But something significant here about something that you are passionate about, okay? So your purpose could definitely be significant, all right? So there could be some sort of purpose that is tied in um, to maybe your lineage, to your kin, okay? To your roots, all right? So some sort of purpose is significant, all right? And you could be receiving a message about this okay something or some uh someone could be bitter behind this okay because I've, i'm getting more of that tables turning energy because right after that we have judgment so there has been some sort of judgment that has been passed down that has been called when it pertains to a family dynamic we have the ten of cups okay so something could i'm getting uh Good karma, bad karma, okay? That's what I'm getting off of this, all right? So the number 30 could be significant, which is significant for me, the uh, source, all right? The number 20 we have on the judgment. The number 10 we have on this 10 of cups, all right? A Pisces could be significant. A Aries Leo Sagittarius energy could be significant too, okay? I don't know why Poseidon is giving me Pisces, okay? I'm hearing Poseidon and I'm I'm seeing Pisces inside of the word Poseidon for some reason, okay? In my mind's eye, all right? Right. So um, also something could be significant here, too, about the mermaid kingdom. All right. I'm hearing that as well. All right. But something about your inner ha happiness, fulfillment and contentment and dreams coming true is definitely significant here. OK, it could have all to do with this message card, too. All right. So different energies that I pick up when I do this reading. OK, both sides of the coin. All right. Um, but yeah, something significant about some sort of judgment is being passed down when it pertains to, it could be a family. Okay. Um, some sort of, like I, like I heard, I keep hearing kin. All right. So something could be heavily significant about some sort of kin. Then we have expectation. We have the number 10 again. So 10, 10, whatever this judgment is. People are expecting this, okay? It could be something that you have foreseen as well, like I said previously, okay? Because we do have the in intuition card, all right? So it says heart song, telepathy, uh, inner knowing, okay? So something that you know uh, intuitively is significant, okay? Something that you could have foreseen, like, I've, like I said before. And then we have great fortune, all right? So something could be significant here about some sort of great fortune some sort of inheritance as well the number eight could be significant eight two eight or two eight eight could be significant here eighty eight two could be significant as well which is sixteen uh that's eighteen so the moon could be significant also all right I'm also saying six seven eight so that could be significant as well all right so from the mystery jar we have reserve, I mean, reverse. So, like I said, some sort of judgment. Poseidon has passed down some sort of judgment here, okay? And it cannot be undone, okay? Um, yeah, something has been reversed, okay? Uh, following that from the mystery jar, we have Kim trials, all right? So, something could be significant here about some sort of Kim trial energy or some sort of chemicals that have been reversed or something dealing with the air. Air quality, pollution could be significant. The waters could also be significant as well. But something has backfired, okay? Something could have irritated or upset the gods and the goddesses, okay? 
Following that, the air and water is significant. I've been picking that up. So divination spying, all right? So someone here has been divination spying as well, okay? Looking into your uh, future could be significant. Then we have dream state, all right? So something has been reversed. You have some sort of maybe dream state protection, okay? And whatever this is, something has been reversed. I'm also getting like spying in the dream state. So divination spine and then dream state is significant here, okay? Then we have 7,000, okay? So it says shut in and close burning of incense okay so you could have just burnt some sort of incense for your ancestors okay um if not then they're asking for you to um or your guides they're asking for you to burn uh some sort of incense okay um you could be like enclosed i did say something about hermit virgo energy i think okay so you could be like um like enclosed, like in a protection bubble of some sort, okay? Or you're protected, all right? I'm getting this too off of this family card uh, with this divine love, okay? You are divinely loved, okay? So next we have Hercules energy, okay? So it says, Hercules, as he has been more popular, known ever since the Ro Roman times, was the greatest of all Greek heroes, one who per proposed or perpassed, y'all be having a hard time reading my um, handwriting sometimes, all men of whom uh, memory from the beginning of time has brought down an account, a half god or a superhuman, okay, strength and um, passions all right hercules was the epitome of bravery all right so something could be significant here about your bravery okay about your passion someone here could have some sort of uh superhuman qualities as well okay so like i said in the beginning um some characteristics could stick out when it pertains to these gods and goddesses okay you could inherit some of these characteristics okay or can relate in some shape or form all right so first we have hierophant in reverse Okay, so something is significant here about personal beliefs, freedom, going against the grain, okay? Blind faith is also significant, okay? So bravery, I'm getting bravery energy definitely off of this card, okay? Following that, we have the nine of wands, all right? So something could be significant too about nine days. Sagittarius energy could be significant. A uh, Taurus energy could be significant as well. So something about your courage, your persistence. Okay, your persistence, all right, your test of faith, your boundaries, your resilience is significant. So that goes more into that uh, bravery, that wounded warrior energy, okay? That divine warrior energy I'm getting to. So something could be significant here about someone who expected some sort, some sort of unexpected income. All right. We have nine, nine. All right. The number 18, the moon energy could be significant. Someone could like to stay hidden. Okay. Or something about something being hidden. Someone could have tried to hide this income. Something could be significant here about a bank. Because this Hercules emblem is giving me like coin energy, okay? So, um, and it's kind of matching up to the coin that's on the unexpected income card from the Kipper deck, okay? So, something could be significant about hidden money, okay? Or someone who tried to hide some money, all right? I'm getting that here. Then we have realization, so epiphany, understandings, awakenings, all right? So something could be coming to the light, okay? Or someone wanted you as some sort of um, sleep state, I'm hearing, okay? So someone wanted you to be blinded to whatever this is, all right? Following that, we have distant horizons. So something could be coming out in the distant horizons. We have nine again. So 999 nine, nine is definitely significant. Okay. Uh, 369 could also be significant. Then we have chasing thrills, excitement, good time. All right. So something could be significant here about some sort of excitement in the distant horizons. Okay. Um, also something could be significant here about you, uh, achieving your goals or going after, uh, having the, the, um, 
stamina or the bravery to go after what you desire, okay, or achieve or go after your goals or some sort of fight, okay, with the wounded warrior here, okay, definitely some sort of fight, all right, following that, we have the tower, all right, so something is significant here about a tower and current energy, I did mention the tower earlier when it pertains to some sort of sudden change, okay, um, a Aries Leo Sagittarius could definitely be significant here, okay, with this fire energy on this tower card, all right, so some sort of awakening, we got awakening twice, okay, so something could have sparked an awakening to this tower could bring something to light, okay, because we got the realization of awakening's card in reverse, but then we got the tower that came up upright, so I'm getting something sparking something, Okay, then we have the seven of wands. All right, so seven days could be significant. Seven to nine days could be significant. We got 77 here. Okay, so something could be significant here about a, a fake marriage or a false contract because 77 for me talks about false contracts. Okay, it also talks about some sort of balance being bought that temperance energy. Okay, a Sagittarius could be significant. All right, there could be some sort of tower moment when it pertains to an official person. Okay, there could be like some sort of news pertaining to an official person. Okay, or someone could be bringing you some sort of news. An official person could be bringing you some sort of news. Okay. So there could be some sort of competition when it pertains to whatever this is with this seven of wands energy, okay? You having to stand your ground, all right? Someone wanting to bring you some sort of challenges, like I said, with the moon card, someone trying to keep something hidden, okay? You could be saying 22 as well. Then we have cloudy judgment, illusions, unbalanced, distorted. So like I said, someone wanted to distort someone's... Uh, mind in some way shape or form someone didn't want another to awaken so who they truly were or are okay i'm getting that or awaken to whatever this unexpected income was or is okay like i said something could definitely be significant here about a banking establishment okay following that we have family room all right so this could surround a family we did see the ten of cups so more on that family energy okay so something here about something taking place in a family room there could be like some sort of competition within a family um a family could be trying to hold on to something as well because this seven of one spirit brought my attention to holding on when it pertains to this uh seven of wands on this card okay then we have clarity all right so truth intentions honesty uh they could have tried to keep keep you from achieving this clarity or getting this clarity okay uh to, could have tried to withhold the truth as well all right there could be some sort of seven of wands energy when it pertains to this clarity i was about to say seven of swords okay so some sort of deception when it pertains to some sort of clarity some sort of truth some sort of honesty okay so we have maybe all right so that gives me like that um that back and forth energy, okay? Maybe for me, it's back and forth. Push and pull energy, okay? Um, more of that being, sometimes it's, it depends on how it's used. It's dishonest, okay? Or, you know, straddling the fence. Then we have closure. So like I said, withholding something, not wanting to give you some sort of closure, okay? Wanting you to be in your head, okay? Not wanting to give you the, the honest truth or something like that is significant, okay? Um, we have a gift. So yeah, something significant here about a gift. This could definitely be this unexpected income that popped up in reverse. Okay. Someone could have stole a gift or withheld some sort of information pertaining to a gift. Okay. Some sort of family. All right. Following that, we have Antichrist. So whomever these individuals are, they are Antichrist. Okay. Then, and we saw that higher fun in reverse. That gives me Antichrist as well. And then we have within a home, all right? So something is that we see the family room. So something is significant here about an Antichrist energy within a home, okay? Um, someone could, something could be significant about someone who stole a home. Something could also be significant about a gift that is hidden within a home, okay, as well. Following that, we have Sita, all right? So... 
with this energy, it says this goddess is best known by the name Sita, derived from the Sanskrit, Sanskrit word Sita. Uh, Firo, all right, according to Ramanya, Janaika found her while plowing as a part of a yagna and adopted her, okay? So adoption can definitely be significant, okay? Uh, with that uh, Hierophant in reverse, that also talks about uh, contracts, okay? So someone could have tried to want to keep could have tried to keep a contract, a fake adoption, false marriage, anything uh, for money. They wanted to try to keep this hidden. All right. So something is significant here about some sort of trade off I'm hearing. OK, the word Sita was a poetic term which signified fertility and the many blessings coming from settled agriculture. OK, so someone here could be very fruitful. Okay, I'm hearing, all right? And someone wanted to hold on to this, okay? I'm seeing Sita as, the, you know, you could be, and remember, take what resonates, what doesn't leave it here. But someone here is adopted, okay? And someone here was held on for financial gain, okay? For financial reasons, okay? Especially with this higher fine and this unexpected income clarifying both in reverse, okay? Something was done for money, Okay, and I'm hearing clear as day some sort of trade off. All right. Following that, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So something could be significant here about a manipulative mother figure. Okay, a cancer energy could be significant. Someone who is codependent. So definitely something was done because someone is very codependent, insecure, unfaithful, jealous, and obsessive. Whoever this person is, Spirit is putting my eye back on this clarity card. Okay, someone who does not have true intentions. They have ill intentions and they are dishonest. Okay, okay. Then we have the nine of swords. All right. So with this nine of swords energy, whomever this energy is, this is someone who is in their head. They are worried. They are in fear, maybe depressed, having nightmares, can't sleep. All right. Because of the fact of them trying to withhold some sort of information in a family room due to finances. Okay. Following that, this person, this queen of cups in reverse, this person who is in ill health. Okay, because we have the bad health card. All right, someone can also play in spell work because we have the three, which talks about a mother figure, and we have the one, which is magician energy. Okay, 31 is significant, four could be significant, and emperor energy or father figure could also be significant. All right, someone could have done spell work on a masculine energy or a father figure as well. I'm getting okay, then we have the Boundaries, whomever this individual is or these individuals are, this is someone that you establish boundaries with. Okay, you drew the line, spirit drew the line, source said enough is enough. Okay, someone that you completely cut off is significant. Then we have the main female. Okay, so I did get your energy off of this collective. You could be a masculine as well. We both possess feminine and masculine uh traits as well okay the number two could be significant uh someone here could also uh something with the two here because three and one is two okay so someone could also do things like i said for money once again okay something about money here okay then we have daydreaming imagining and fantasizing i'm getting like cinderella vibes off of this card so something could be significant here you could be someone who is a visionary back to that 22 energy okay 222 could also be significant here all right following that we have house okay so something could be significant here about a home we got 22 again with the uh two and the 20 all right so there could be some sort of judgment being passed when it pertains to a home or people within a home or something surrounding a house okay following that we have the nine of pentacles which I talk about, um, which I said earlier, fruitful. Someone who is very fruitful, someone who is very abundant, okay, is significant, all right? So fruits of your labor, comfort, rewards, luxury, contentment, self-sufficiency, plenty, financial independence, financial stability is significant. A Virgo energy could be significant or you could be someone who is an hermit at this time, all right? The number nine is definitely significant here, all right? So... 
we then have the four of wands so heavy on the house energy all right something could be significant here about your home some sort of celebration okay um some sort of freedom is significant a marriage could be significant like i mentioned earlier okay then we have journey so nine also talks about travel too on this uh nine of pentacles card so you could be someone who is taking a journey or just leaving okay this could be past present or future energy okay but something significant here about um, you leaving, you going on some sort of journey. The number 14 could be significant, which, which, which is temperance energy. Okay, a Sagittarius could be significant as well. All right. Following that, we have uh, finality. Okay, so farewells leave behind closure. All right. So definitely confirmation <laughs> so definitely something coming to an end okay the number 10 here again i think we got 10 three times in this reading okay so some sort of endings and new beginnings okay when it pertains to this energy we have the empress all right so something is significant here about the mother figure okay once again so something about a mother figure all right someone who is abundant nurturing fertility feminine energy good parents and development accomplishments growth evaluate um, evolution action all right earth sign could be significant venus energy is significant here okay so values beauty love is significant Taurus, virgo capricorn could also be significant okay so we have community all right so a community of people this mother something could be significant here about you leaving a community behind okay i'm getting that here we got the three and we have the nine again okay so yes you leaving a community behind all right we have abandoned left out walks away cold okay so a whole community could have abandoned you as well okay um hence with the story of sita okay um her being found and her being ad adopted okay so that is heavily significant here and then we have karma so a whole community is facing some sort of karma when it pertains to this abandoned energy okay so consequences cause and effect and debts all right so these uh people are indebted okay so we have and we did have poverty to start off the reading okay so um we have artificial diseases all right so someone could have given you some sort of artificial disease or wanted to give you some sort of artificial disease something could surround a doctor that goes back to that higher fine energy okay with that uh money all right we have dog man all right so something is significant about dog man i do get anubis energy off of this as well okay Following that, we have what you don't see, okay? So something is significant here about what you don't see, all right? Something could be significant about portals. Then we have spring, all right? So something could be significant about something that took place during the spring that maybe someone tried to maybe do under your nose or sweep under the rug or something could be significant about this coming spring. Spring of 2025 could be significant. Spring of 2024 could be significant. Predictive programming, all right? So false flags and brainwashing, all right? That is more of that what you don't see energy, okay? So that is everything I have for you when it pertains to this message. I hope you all enjoy and I'll talk to you in the next one.